I'm Mike Sullivan. Today I'll show you another drill to help you stop slicing your driver. So before we filmed this video today, I went around and I asked a few people, I said to them, if you could fix any one part of your golf game, what would it be? And before I could even finish asking the question, I got back, my driver, my driver, help me hit my driver. So, so apparently everyone is out of control with their driver, they're slicing with their driver. So we're gonna to talk today about just a couple things to help you get better control of your driver, and actually better control will give you more distance and it will also give you more accuracy. So we're gonna talk about these two things. And what they involve are turning, using our body to turn better in our swing, and also getting the sense of what a good swing path is. Now, what we'd like to do when we do this, this swing path drill is have some sort of a feedback system so we know if we're getting it right. And so in a second, we're gonna get out on the driving range and I'm gonna show you one quick, easy drill. We actually use it with kids to help them get a sense of the correct swing path when hitting any of their clubs, but especially their driver. So we're gonna talk about two things. One is going to be some sort of a drill we can do to help us turn our shoulders better. Average golfer, the average slicer, after they set up to the ball, their backswing consists of lifting the club up. You can see I'm not turning my shoulders or hips very much here. For most people, all we have to do is have them stand straight up, set up as if they're addressing, say, a baseball and a tee, they can turn back, back faces the target, turn through, chest faces the target. So if we can't make this move while standing straight up, we're sure as heck not gonna be able to make it while we're set up in a golf posture. So really quick, really easy. Grab a club, go in the backyard, turn back, turn through. Get the hang of this. After a few swings, change to golf posture. Turn back, turn through. From down the target line, back, through, back, through. So that's gonna help us get a sense of turning. Now the next thing we want is we want some sort of a, a real tangible goal and feedback system to help us with our swing path. So real quick, I'm gonna put a golf ball right on my target line. I've got a stick on my target line and another stick parallel to it. A slicer is going to have their club head swing from out to in in some manner. Their, their path is going to be moving this way. A drawer is going to have a path coming from inside the target line, out onto the target line, back around inside. So here's a great little thing we can do. Take another tee and put it outside the ball. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to strike the ball and then get my club head to pass over or even clip that tee on the outside. Okay, that ball is actually pretty straight. It stayed on the golf course, right? So on the range, I should say. That ball is actually pretty straight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make another little practice swing, keep an eye on my club head. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm hitting both of those tees. So I did my little drill, hitting both the tees, and I'm gonna try it with the ball. So that was actually a better ball flight for what we're looking for. That was a little bit more of a draw. It's kind of funny, my first shot was pretty good, but that second one really mimicked the drill I was doing. The club came more from the inside and that got outside the target line to help me hit that draw. So once again, turn the shoulders, turn the hips, don't pick up the club, and then do this little T-drill to get you swinging the club more from in to out. That's gonna help you get rid of that slice and start drawing the ball consistently. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up for a like. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified by email each time that we produce a new instructional video. Talking about the slice, 
stop 